Hello and welcome. It's another edition of Casual Mode. I am Brian Vitali, and with me today I've got George Foster. Hello, everyone. We've got Adam Vitali. Hello. And James Galizio. Hey, folks. So the usual crew here today, and I am once again uh, driving this this bus, this car, whatever we're driving, uh, and we are playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. So uh, at RPG site, we've kind of covered uh, Yakuza for years, despite it like not really being an RPG, like <laughs> only in the very, very loosest sense. And we are now vindicated because Yakuza 7, aka Like a Dragon, is now truly like a turn-based RPG, like in every sense of the word. Um, so we've had a few people on the site play through this. We've had Josh Torres, who wrote the review for it. Um, we've had George Foster, who is here with us, write some guides for it and who's also played through it. And Love I am, it. yeah, we talked a little bit about it on uh, one or two of our recent podcasts, the Tetracast. And I am basically just getting started. I am in chapter three, so I am not very far into this game. But we just figured, hey, it's it's a kind of in a unique position for the series. Uh, it's something that has been kind of really popular and like growing in sentiment and you know in awareness. I feel like, and especially now that it's got some Microsoft publishing backing and English dub, uh, let's just sit down and talk about it. Um, we'll figure out you know what we feel about it, how our different takes on it. Where some of us are approaching the series with different levels of you know know how and experience i think george has only played six and seven somehow he's gotten away with that <laughs> yeah um, we're weird all to do it in but i, I would I, say I, one of the benefits of like a dragon is that you you don't really need the prior knowledge like the last couple of hours of the game are very reference heavy to the originals but i got along with it fine you just need some sort of basic knowledge i think yeah it's it sounds like it's not it's not the perfect starting point due to how much it does reference uh, the first first seven games of the series. It's, remember, this is the eighth game of the series, since you include a zero, and that's even discounting some spin-offs. Uh, so I have played... I'm mostly a PC player, so I've played Zero, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2. So I'm missing... I have a gap where I haven't played uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here, where I am is I am just at the start of, I believe, Chapter 3. Yeah. Uh, where... I've kind of gotten through, like, there's a, a lot of exposition dumping at the start, a lot of, you know, story set up, a lot of framework. I wanted to get through a lot of the talky cutscene stuff and try to get into the meat of the game. So uh, you do not play as Kazuma Kiryu, you play as Ichiban Kasuga. And basically, without trying to, like, go too... I, this is pretty early in the game, so it's not really possible to spoil much beyond, like, the premise of the game. But without going too in the weeds, basically... We are, you know, at rock bottom. I think even the name of this chapter is rock bottom. We are, we have awakened in uh, Yokohama, and we are basically poor as dirt, and needing to scrounge up money, get back on, you know, get our bearings, get back on our feet. Uh, and from this, from this perspective, you wouldn't be able to know that anything has really changed about Yakuza. This is what Yakuza's, you know, overworld or whatever you want to call it, gameplay looks like. The difference. Of, of course happens in battle which I will of course hopefully try to see if I can get into any but I've not played past this point so this is you know this is a fresh playthrough I have just learned the technique for uh, scrounging under vending machines to get money or fail to get money and it will never help you again <laughs> so you just finished this game like literally a couple days ago yeah li literally a minute or two before we started recording Tetchcast last night, <laughs> so my my feelings on it are still pretty fresh. But I I'd like I still want to go back and play it, even after playing forty hours of it. So that should tell you how positive I feel about it. So how like completionist were you? Did you like mainline and only do the story stuff, or did you? Uh... Oh, we got a cutscene here. Do that. Oh, no English stuff. What? Yeah, well, I figured I played Neo in English, so I can play this in uh, Japanese, especially since I played all the other Akasas in Japanese. Sanjo, <laughs> 
I'm gonna just click through it just a little bit after I read the lines just to try to keep things moving. はい。わかります。自分で働いて律儀に金を持ってくるような親友に。ありがとうございます。おお。え。水石まで。え。当の昔に見捨てる。うん。18年も無所ずとめした古文を打つなんて。な、辛いか。<笑> やるよ。あれ、チップはちぎって、こんな。え?あ。これぞ。偉人潮流ひれず。I know nothing about food or drink, but that doesn't seem like it'd be nice. I, I'm the opposite of a foodie. <laughs> so, if it's yeah, any, same. if it's if it's any like moderately exotic, I'm kind of like, eh, maybe I try it. <laughs> if enough, if I had enough peer pressure. で明日からどう暮らすんだお前。分かってる。じゃあ朝五時半に出るぞ。とりあえず無難に。寒。寒広いのことかな。早い門勝ちの奪い合いだからな。寝坊したら置いてくぞ。Oh. My introduction to uh, sub stories. <laughs> First, there's something that's super appropriate about starting a Yakuza stream and we get like this weird like quirky sub story mini game. Because isn't that just like quintessential Yakuza? I mean, Once again, that's the same concept for why people have been saying, well, it's still very much the same series, even with turn based RPG. Because, like, who really well, people do play Yakuza for the main story, but it feels like most people play it for the side content, which is an interesting dynamic. Well, also, the it's, it's not always a perfect split, but it's like the main story allows them to be really serious, really dramatic. There. I'm gonna, I'll talk more once this guy shuts up. Like, so Yakuza always like threads the needle between like really dramatic, really serious, and then like really quirky and silly. And by being able to like split that between the main story and sub story makes that kind of easy and efficient. Though, of course, obviously, there are you know sub stories that are equally, uh, you know, equally gripping. And I, I will say that the, um, the starting two chapters of Yakuza 7, Yakuza Like a Dragon, I have really been hooked. Like, I think some of the story, some of the background, like, normally, I think of something like, uh, off the top of my head, Persona 4, has, like, a really slow starting that I kind of, you know, dread every time I start that game. Where this game, the exposition dump at the start, I found myself, like, not bothered by, because I was, like, totally, you know, engaged, totally hooked. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, it's... It's to the point where I wouldn't mind. I can't believe you just missed a can in the tutorial. Hey. But it's at the point where I wouldn't mind going back for added context and stuff like that now. I am into them during a boost. Right. Brian, I don't think you need a healthy challenge when you missed a can. Hey. Go back and get you, it. You, no, you, I gotta give those other people a chance. Oh, I'm going the other way. 
I think you're giving them too much chance. <laughs> Alright, now we, now we do it for real. So this game takes place in a different city, right? Compared to most of the other games? Yeah, this yeah. is Jincho. Well, okay. um, I've only played, like I said, uh, 0, 1, and 2. And those all take place in... Kamurocho, mostly. Mm. For, and, uh... Where uh, is it that Yakuza 6 takes place? That's, uh... I, uh, I don't know. It's the one where Onimuchi comes from. It'll come to me. It'll come to me later. Ignore me. Alright, I have enough for the quota, but I can get more cans. Yeah, don't give up now. I mean, the, again, same with the searching under vending machines. You probably won't go back to this if you don't, like, want to. But it's, it's a fun enough little thing. Alright, I only have a B, but that's fine. I think I had, in order to get more, I would have had to ram people. <laughs> I just like, there's something about the fact that he's in like a dirty old coat, um, scrounging for money under vending machines. Like, can't go any lower than this, so we're gonna build up from here. It's definitely so you're gonna see, like, as you go through, and something I really enjoyed, even though it's not my perspective at all, is that it really does focus on a bunch of, like, people down on their luck. Like, they're all, like, middle aged, they're all, like, working, like, not good jobs. It's like, some of them are homeless. Like, it's a really interesting take. But it doesn't handle it perfectly at times like some of the uh perceptions of women and homeless people are kind of a bit on the nose a bit stereotypical but i still thought it was a pretty cool way to start a story well my my general impression just this is a personal taste for me is i don't really like it when the protagonist is like overly flattered like wow you're the best at things wow you're such a you know i can't believe you have so much talent and potential like i'd rather have someone that people don't believe in or don't don't think is any good and they end up proving them wrong like that to me is always a more compelling story i 100 percent agree with that like show me it's like hard work and you know beating the odds rather than you know you're so talented or whatever <laughs> so naruto or, yeah <laughs> No Naruto or no Kirito. Well, Naruto's kind of... To get way off track. Right. That, that one kind of plays both sides. A little bit. Uh, that doesn't look appealing. At least that with that option. <laughs> This is another difference between, well, the main difference between Ichiban and Kiryu is that, like, one is really outspoken and emotional, and, like, you see that in every scene that he's in, and it just, it just personally, it just makes him such an interesting protagonist. Like, Kiryu's awesome as well. Like, there's, there's definitely something to be said about, like, how he just takes no crap for anyone and beats them all up, but it's definitely a different vibe. I, I agree, totally. Oh, maybe heroes get the, uh, battle system? Let's see. ハンピンリューマンのメンバーだ。ハンピンリューマン。<笑> 
じゃあ、景気はどうや。景気のいいホームレスなんて癒しませんよ。そんな甘ったれたこと言ってっから、社会復帰できねえんだ。毎日酒飲んで寝て、だらしねえ暮らし中。おっしゃる。ちょっと荷物が増えたんですよ。荷物。おい、中身確認しろ。待てよ。俺にもプライバシーってもんが。てめえみてえなクズにあるわけねえだろ。やめろ。サマンじゃねえ。I, I saw that. I, I saw Colin, of all people, actually share a gif of that. Or gif of that. So I knew it was Colin. <laughs> I think actually this was one of the first scenes that made me go, like, yeah, I'm on board with this. Like, this has hooked me just that little bit. <笑>おい、ナンバー。面倒くせえの連れてきやがって。しかもそれを俺らに黙って書こうなんてよ。後でたっぷり欲しいおぎだぜ。この人は俺の命の恩人で、その手ぶけろ。かっこいいね。まあお前みたいにとなった信号は時々いるんだよな。だが負け犬はどこでどんだけ吠えようと。所詮負け犬の遠吠えってやつよ。そういう馬鹿には体で思い知ってもらうしかねえな。いかがかや
I'll just keep him stun locked, literally. <laughs> I like how even though it's turn based, the fights look a lot more dynamic than you did. Yeah, they could have made this like really. Oh, I thought he was gonna attack. They could have made this like really uh, stiff. You know, do the whole like lineup on the on each side thing. But no, they make it they make it feel like fluid and active. And then giving you like the little button presses. It's a simple old trick. You know, as far back as Mario and Luigi or Paper Mario. But it's enough to kind of keep you engaged. Yep. Oh no! He, yeah. So he so he only gets a thirty percent of the EXP if he dies. Oh, this this is just weird. Like I've seen this screen a few times now, but it's just weird to see this in the Yakuza game. Like oh, RPG now. Stats. Yes. Enemy numbers. <laughs> ホームレスから<笑> てめえらよく分かってんだろうが。何じゃあ、さっ、小遣い稼ぎしてたらホームレスに帰り討ちにされましたってよ。でも動画ね。じゃあ、俺らが敵取ってき。アウチ。何優しいこと言って出張ってく
なるほど。それは違うな。三つのトップは。それぞれが最後、むしろ日々。組織力。火薬庫のデカさは増す場。横浜の裏社会で生きるってのは。なるほど。なあ。お前は大見に願えた親分から撃たれた。そして、誰に
やっぱだからってほだけど1日足を棒にしてはそもそも世の中にあるだあるだそのあてがあんのあのなみんな聞いてくれなあみんななんでこんな言ってねえって顔だな手先の器用なやつもいるしなのになんで仕事をおトラブルと揉め事から逃げてこ,ここで一緒俺はごめんだぜどうしても行かれっていい加減にしろなあそれああでも多少のわけが面倒くさがらなきゃ働けるところてめえ勝手に決めんじゃねえなここには前科者も確かにいるさでも本騙されて借金の方が決まったやつ This is one of the times where it does feel like it takes it seriously その家族にも逃げられて途方に暮れちまったやつみんな心が折れて仕方なくここに流れ着いてきたんだお前心が折れちまった人間の気持ちがわかんのかみんな家族や親兄弟もいて捜索願いも出てる待ってる人間がいるって分かってんだそりゃそこに帰りてえさでも帰れねえよ折れた気持ち引きずったまま帰れやしねえそんな奴らを無理やりハローワークに連れて行くだそんなことしたら一発で居所がバレてまたどこかをさまようなきゃなんねえんだぞ<笑>働くのめんどくさがってるだとみんなまともな仕事をやりてえよでもそういう仕事に就きたくてもそれができねえ事情があるんだだから遠回りでもここで頑張ってんだよすまねえてめえの価値観を押し付けんのはやめとけまあでもよ例外もいるぜえ一番の言うように前科者でめんどくせえことから逃げてるだけのやつも一人いるなは俺だよ確かナンバーは元看護師だったよななんでホームレスにんな話はどうでもいいんだよお前の演説にはイチリアンのも確かに。So many games that are, would allow the protagonist to make a speech like that without any sort of like pushback. Yeah, that's what. So, like, like I say, th there are times when it's a bit like, okay, making a joke out of it, but that scene kind of says that the heart is in the right place. And I feel that with a lot of the things that people say、uh, it not doing so well, I feel like maybe it's trying to play it for laughs. Like positively. Oh, I, like, I, like the, harshly, I, like, I like the line where you just said you can't force people to be like you.、Mm. Oops. I think these are just tutorial stuff. Alright, so got a new party member. And I didn't realize that that would go on so long, but hey, it was a really great scene to, to kind of open up with. So we have save points, we have healing,、uh, healing checkpoints. I think、She's、I have items in my.、Uh, I think I have items in my box. That, yeah, I, these would have been useful to have for that fight. <laughs> But oh well, I forgot to grab these. Mysterious leaf that gives you MP.、Hmm. I'm not sure why it puts everything in your box after the first couple chapters. Alrighty. It's not like you have much anyway. Like, it just. Yeah, I'm, I'm very early. I'm gear. That's what I wanted.、Uh, a dirty hand towel for, on his head. Oh, I wish, I wish it like, showed up on his head. Even a used washcloth would be a better choice.、Uh, no foot gear. Nice. <laughs> Alright, I put it all on each of on, and Nanba is not going to have anything. I don't think. So his class is what?、Oop. You're gonna love this. Homeless guy. <laughs> Capable of learning homeless tricks of the trade, like fire breathing? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what yeah, I would expect. Yeah, that's the first thing I think of when I think of homeless people、uh, pigeon control、like、and smelly breath. People got kind of annoyed at the smelly breath thing, I think. But then, like, I, I don't know, like, I see what they mean. But that scene before is like a pretty good interpretation of it, I think. Yeah, it's. Like quite... they, they may not nail everything, but you, you also can't say like either Ichiban or Namba is like a pure paragon of the you know, absolute moral you know, truth. The, the, each of them is kind of biased, so 
you you could say that maybe Namba is too reluctant to change anything because he just you know hand waves it and says that they're all broken. But you know, you got to kind of see like where they're both coming from. Mm. Let's see. Party members want to chat sometimes, just like in Dragon Quest. All right. This is one of those things about each one that's just really cool. If it wasn't related to the Yakuza and also probably be a lot of pain, I'd love his tattoo somewhere. そういうもんなのか。まあでも、流魚ってのも <laughs> I like how he's like humble enough. He's like, yeah, I just can't wear a dragon even though I want one. Right, he's so like that a... in like quite a few scenes as well. So I have a story event there. Oh, we have some random battles. So instead of this going into like brawler mode, it just goes into like. It's really not that much different from the other Yakuza games. Just just this part's different. Oh, I got a new tag team skill. That's the party wide one. So if you use that. The more like members you have, the more damage you'll do. I guess the implication is that homeless people are alcoholics. <laughs> Pitiful look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what I mean, it's just like... Kind of makes you go... Uh... <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd pick up the... Uh... Weak. I'm not sure why it says weak. Those guys are... My attack was weak or they're weak to it? Weak to it. He leveled up so, as a homeless man. Having an enemy who's weak to physical attacks. I always feel silly to explain this, but like, because every party member has physical attacks, like, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you want. But it gets really rare. I have to say as well, I'm like, kind of a basic, basic player. Like, I, most of my tactics involved, like, hey, just use all your strongest attacks on this one guy, and if they happen to be weak, good idea. But like, I wasn't very tactical and I still managed to get through it with like, not too much difficulty. There are a few bosses I had to grind for, but I, f I think generally most people can get through this quite quite easily. It seems like it's been pretty easy. Like if I wanted to, I could scum and just go back to the save point and heal up my MP and then always just use my high MP uh, abilities. Yeah, they're, they're not around very much, like, at all. I think there's... Maybe two or three of them? Just it generally around. So what does the map on fog is like Yeah, fog of war. Yeah. I think you can access some sub stories. Yeah, I was looking for something on the map. They they do pop up as like white uh like quote mark sort of things, so like maybe they're about, but I think it's maybe in the next chapter they Next chapter, they definitely become available, but I think there's still a few around now. So he recovers MP whenever he attacks. And there are some cool little interactions like that, where if you follow up on someone that's down, you do a stronger attack. That's what I wanted to do during the boss fight, but then someone was in the way. I wanted to see this guy, like... 
Is it maybe skills? What are you looking for? He like he like gains MP when he attacks. I'm wondering if that's like a passive of his job. Sure. I know. I think whenever I had number in like different jobs, he always did it. And another party member has it as well, and I don't think it's tied specifically to that. Maybe. Oh, it here it's it's part of his umbrella special effect. Ah, yeah. There, there you go. There you go. That's kind of cool. I haven't really. But weapons much. change. Weapons change with jobs, so I guess maybe that is a a class specific thing as well. Let's go down this road. See this. Wait, what's a yellow? Oh, yellow arrow is just number. It's kind of funny hearing you guys like discuss and determine like these RPG ish elements. <laughs> its effect is where is this effect coming from? Like some stat is on my class or on my weapon. <laughs> so RPG things. But so George, like you, you're on the record. <laughs> Capitalist saying... Punisher. Okay. You're on the record saying that you don't really jive with turn-based games. Like, how did you feel about that? Obviously, you've been pretty positive on the game. Uh, just, just something about it that worked, just worked for you? I I have to be really invested. I, for, for starters, I was really invested in the story. That just gripped me straight away. Um, and I guess, I've said this before, but gimmicky sort of turn-based stuff, like even just the slightest hint of interaction beyond okay, this is an attack. Like, to go that step beyond and say, okay, now mash, mash A, and you get a stronger attack. I don't know why, but like that level of engagement just kind of offsets all the stuff I don't like about turn-based RPGs. So, in this case, the combination of, okay, well, when, you get, when you're doing that special move, you can't just sit and watch, like, you have to do that to make it effective, and the fact, like, it's all, like, quirky, like, oh, you can be a musician who hits people with his guitar and heals people with music. Like, those two elements made me go, just really get into it. I just now read the text that he summons the pigeons by throwing beans. <laughs> Something about that, like, learning that. Like, of course it is. I don't see any, um... The, the place you just walked past where there was a bunch of, like, rubbish outside of it, that is a sub-story. So maybe if you go past it again, it'll trigger about the battle where, being where, there. Where I started? If you uh, go left down this road. I might just be too early for most of them to unlock. No. Avoid him. Oh, what is this? Just the cat mini game. Oh. Uh, maybe that hurt. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> Wait, is there really no point? Or what? You. The only thing that you really need it for, I guess if you want some, like, early game items you can do that but you can get tissue paper there and it's the only place you can get it and you need it for a side quest later on but like that's it oh i read it like you get like keys for these boxes i, I think for the any. silver safe yeah you get you get like you don't get keys at a specific one time use you get like the the silver key that opens all silver keys and the gold key that opens all gold safes opens all keys you know what i mean yeah yeah, I guess you can't do this one straight away then. Keep this in mind, this is where you get like a, a neat little thing. Okay, let me heal my MP and then go to the next story event. Hopefully it goes pretty quickly into some battles. I'm gonna do just like talking to people to see what they have to say. Hmm. Sounds like a side quest. It's got a cute butt. Okay. <laughs> Let's get us some uh interests. <laughs> Item. Silver moth. Is it uh a valuable? No. It's material. So I've gotten like the game is hinted at like weapon crafting, but I haven't gotten there yet. No, I don't want to fight. I just want to heal my feet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look how far away I am. Yeah, this is another positioning, a PP positioning problem. Uh. Just, it, it, I think you've got kind of lucky here, but there are occasions where you literally have to run oh, back and forth, and then stuff like that happens, and you just kind of like, 
Okay, I'll just turn on auto battle. Screw this. How do you miss on a flying fall? I guess they don't pick up. That's all too real. <laughs> or you tell someone, help, I'm, I'm fighting some homeless guys, and it's like, <laughs> you're on your own. <laughs> See, like, it feels like Ichiban should have been able to block him like they block you, but in my experience, it never happens like that. I'm okay with some degree of randomness. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, oh, it doesn't let me go back to heal. Oh, let me in. Yeah, you gotta go the other way. <laughs> it's like that oh, meme, uh, let me in. <laughs> <laughs> Even got the same hair. Let me in. Alright. Who hasn't just, like, fought, you know, grind against enemies near the healing point? I remember, like, Final Fantasy X, I think, was the first Final Fantasy game that healed you at the save points. Maybe not the first, but one of the first. So as soon as you reached, like, those first couple save points that healed you, I would always just, like, as a kid, just grind up until... The game was ludicrously easy. <laughs> I actually have a little bit of a beef with that sort of mechanic with the first two Grandia games. So Grandia, you get like a lot of like attacks that are like super attacks that require MP or other meters currency. So like what I would do is like in every area, you find a save point that heals you and then like do you'd run up to the closest battle, then just like spam your highest cost moves and they're really strong and whatnot. And just run back a little bit to the save point and heal, go to the next battle, spam them again. <laughs> and just like, hey, if this is the most efficient way for me to play this game, I will do that. I think my favorite take on MP systems is when the game is balanced around that you have full HP and MP for every fight. I, I'm not saying that's yeah. universally better, because sometimes you do like having like the attrition mechanics, being able to go through a dungeon while managing your MP. There's that like that's gameplay as well, but I'm thinking like Final Fantasy thirteen, where you go into every fight fully healed. I think 15 too. And then the game is balanced around that. You can't just cheese the whole, you know, it expects you to be able to use all your strongest moves and the, de the designers know that. Yeah, I, I'd agree. It makes me think of something like Persona 5 where I'd get like deep into a dungeon and then that'd be the reason I'd have to, I'd have to quit out at a certain point. Like otherwise I'd happily do them in one go, but you just run out of, uh, what's it called in that? Is it SP or? Mm. Remember? Yeah, I think it is SP. I think as well, not to talk over the cutscene, but with the difference between this and Persona 5, like, I was very surprised that I managed to get through this game, like, as easily and happily as I did, and then I go back I never managed to finish Persona 5, I got to like the second to last dungeon, and I just got kind of sick of it. Um, I don't know why that is, but I really hated the dungeons in Persona 5. Like Persona 5's dungeons, after a point, do get a little bit, kind of... They're just a bit much. Too overly long, yeah. There are like, the cool dungeons I like, like I'm a really big fan of Futaba's uh, Pyramid Dungeon. Yes, kind of yeah, I love after that, after that, it kind of gets like, okay, this is like, little... Long little gimmick, yeah, and whatnot. Like, like the space one comes to mind for me. Like I was just like, oh. and the game itself is just way too long. Like I, I think I was must have been past like a hundred hours without having finished it in my original playthrough. Like and then you've got Royal, which adds more time on. It's just a lot. <laughs> So is this a main story thing or a sub story thing? It's a main story thing. But, but and at least in other Yakuza games, there's a lot of main story things that introduce like sub story things. Like in Yakuza yeah. Kwame 2, I think chapter 4 is all about a hostess club. And basically, at the end of that, it's like now you can do the hostess club minigame stuff. <laughs> Yeah, 
一体何すんだよさあね詳しくは知らんが仕事をこなせば五千円はありがてえ行ってみるかおうちょっとこんなとこん見てましたかまあまあこれくらいはいい,<笑>いっつも勝手なんですI find myself wanting to answer, but like, no, no. obviously not. My, my inclination is that I would be totally, oh, I think this is a sub story, so I'll go over there. I would, it, would be, it would be on brand that they go there and they have to, like, I don't know, dress up like clowns or something like that. <laughs> oh, dang, you guessed it. <laughs> Just so everyone who's watching knows, Brian is messing up like almost all the commands. Wait, what? <laughs> you gotta get it like on time with the Y press. Oh. I guess I didn't even realize that I was doing it wrong because I wasn't trying to adjust my timing. It'll go like uh, extra damage, like plus or something. Oh, so similar with the X press. All right. I find as well that like you really need to do them like it's not even a case of oh yeah like maybe that helps a bit like you need to always be pressing them right Alright, so I wasn't really paying attention to see like what I was supposed to do there. As is the case of like an annoying amount of sub stories. I get why because of like needing time to pass, you just have to go back there and like after you've done something. So after this fight you could probably turn back around and do it. Uh, and another one that's just unlocked as well, I think. Alright, time to make good and actually maybe do this correctly. I'm watching. Ah. Yes! Alright, it's easy enough. I just... I guess I didn't even just realize I was doing it wrong. I was just pressing it when it... Yeah, there's no like, circle. there's no indication of. I should have, I should have realized that if the uh, if the X press had the uh, damaged little floater, that the Y press should have as well. Like if it had said like miss or something like that, I'd be like, oh, I gotta change my timing. Oh, I miss again. I'm just not good at this game apparently. <laughs> I said, I do like how you're a few chaps in and I'm giving you crap oh, for not much. Because all these enemies are weak to physical attacks, like, this feels like really like breezy. Oh, also as a oh, tip, yeah, I something I didn't exactly. realize like very early on uh, is that you want to like interact with the taxis every time you pass them because they become like a fast travel point. So like even if you run right next to one, it won't like mark it on the map from then on. You have to like indicate to go in, and then you can get it as a shortcut. Oh. It's really annoying, but like when you realize that ten chapters in, you feel like a bit of an idiot. Speaking from experience. Yes. <laughs> like this guy's hat. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> One thing I really liked Gomi is a bit on the nose. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. 
Oh. It does feel like I say, uh, yeah, it feels like I say uh, the one thing I liked a lot. But like another thing I liked is that in every sub story there is at least one conversation, like mm. that is fully voiced, so it doesn't feel like you're just Easy. watching like a bunch of Arigato text conversations. I don't know if that carries over into Japanese dub, but in the English dub, like either the start or the end, or sometimes all of it is voiced. I like this guy's face. <laughs> I don't know what to pick. Yeah. <laughs> Confident. Yeah, each one gives you like a different stat raised. You won't learn look about that for a bit, but Anno I feel like I'm annoyingly backseat gaming because like obviously I I've gone through all this like with the intention to be like, oh, here's how you do this, this and this and now it just pops up without even meaning to. <laughs> nah, it just doesn't bother me. This went to 0 to 100 really quick. The more I try this, the more I can fail and look pretty silly. <laughs> Damn. I also love how it's gone from like Oh, uh, yeah, you used to run this shop with your dead wife, now I'm gonna beat you up. Yeah, this'll, you know, you just gotta... You just gotta, like, convince them with your fist, just like Kiryu would. There you go. これはゴミじゃねえ。元の店はもともと俺ら夫婦で切り盛りしてたんだ。ああ。そういえば元はちゃんと。だがある日、家内が店番中に倒れてしまってな。発見が遅かったせいで、そのまま死んじまったよ。
Sorry, chat. I'm the sort of person okay. that I have to click through them just so it gets I love the, uh... how the party chat in this game is just a group message on a phone. Ah, <laughs> oh, so it's 10% flame resistant. Why not? I also love that you can just press for optimal gear. You can just press the X button. Like, oh, I, I like forgot I that before. I had. Yeah, we're closed. I'm not tactical, I'm not... so I would just go in and be like, yeah, just, just, you sort it out. You do it. I'll just, I'll just I'm gonna, play. I'm going to assume agility is like turn order and dexterity is hit chance. I wish there was a way to like get tool tips so I knew exactly what those did. Probably somewhere in the... Uh... I can't remember. Hmm. Um, he is immune. To, he is immune to poison just because he's uh, hardened from life on the streets. So, what was the thing you were saying about the taxi? All right. So, I uh, see when taxi I, over whenever here. you, yeah, you want to always like click on them. So as soon as you pass them, just be like as if you're about to get in. So this one's already marked on the map. So you've really, like, got in that one. Alright. Like, go up to another one, and then, like, try and get in, and then it'll finally be marked on the map, so you know there's a taxi there, and then you can fast travel between them. Which, at, at the moment, isn't really necessary, because you're in this small area, but, like, later on in the game, you're going to be using it a lot. Oh. S stories all the way up there. Oh, like this one, maybe, is a good example. Because it's not on the map. And then if I just press B. Does that count? Officially got it, like, yeah, you've marked it. Ah, okay. That's a bit weird. It seems kind of arbitrary. Yeah, it's just. It, it's sort of, It's just a little bit annoying. Alright, let's do one more story scene. Hopefully it'll be something worthy of being the end of the stream. We'll see. Or video. You can see that it's really been kind of simple so far, but I've only got two party members, etc. Fog of War seems kind of arbitrary too. Like I don't know if that really gains much. It is very RPG-ish though. Just trying to think where. This is fairly close to the end of the chapter. But like, there's a bit of exp exposition. <laughs> ハロワの勘弁に用心棒をよこせってね。ちょっと浜子さん、勝手に。5000円でいいのち貼ってくれるなら安いもんさ。ちょっと待って、用心棒。1から説明。川沿いに店が並んでるだろう。この辺りの店
こんなもんが店に放り今夜中に復旧しろ電線を直せってことだそうね連中の言ってることがうど来るかもしあのなばあさんさす自分の店ママのこと思ってはあ俺はコミジュルと関わり合うのなんて絶対にごめんなさいそうかい嫌ならああそうかいすみませんあんた電線をまた引きそれでも揉めたら誰かにそんなのやめときなあたうるせえばばあばあさんの言うと泥棒された上<笑>バイト代は5000円かまわねえマジか仕事を人助けして金までいいあんたはちょっと違うと思って<笑>本当にねえおちょいまし俺たちまやっ<笑>分かったよもうやるよやらいいんだろうがよし話は決まった心強い用心棒がふ So not quite a scam. I was expecting something like really silly, but life or death mission, I guess. That's still like just it's really like a bad idea. <laughs> One false wire there. あの建物の中に何十年もそうだ客のいるスナックにわざじゃあ俺はそう睨んでるそれはコミジロもわこんなもん投げ入れられたらだから石黒投げて脅してそうでもし確認しにいやお前俺たちはずっと戻す今はそれで済んでもだからよ一番もうこれは脅しだけだっつって聞こえてるよたくんどうしたいや、あれ誰もいねえじゃねえかいやさっき人影が<笑>ポップコーンかよビビらせやがって What sort of bar sells popcorn? Sounds <laughs> It's possible I just don't know about it, but I don't think the Goi Majul are like a part of. I probably just butchered the pronunciation there as well, but I don't think they're a part of any other Yakuza. Like, I've only played through two, but like, the, the Jingwan Mafia was only a similar group from two. Maybe it's like a specific name for the e j i n c h o part of it. Well they, well, they said that it was a name of a region here. I think I'm always pressing that too early. Alright, that was. Okay. That was straight. That was straightforward. <laughs> I think I'm playing on the normal difficulty. <laughs> oh, I don't know why were they using crossbow bolts? Less noise, I guess.
何してんだよあんたらが雇ったやつだあんたらのお仲間かは知らねえけどもうそっちに帰ったんだ俺らも返しちゃくんねえかここで俺たち殺しても死体の始末ってのも大変だろうやめとけってあとそれとよスナックの伝染の件だあれでスナックは廃業寸前なんだぜあんたらどっちみちあの店が潰れりゃ電気だって取れねえだろもういい加減やめてやれよお前の方こそやめてくれあんたらも気合の入った組織なんだってなだったらチンケな東電なんて似合わねえだろやめとけよもう知らねえ I'm kind of with Nambo here. Totally not something、uh, Kiryu would do. She got s u n d a g a And that's a lot of crossbow bolts on the street. <laughs> Good thing those guys are like stormtroopers. <laughs> They're loyal. Really, like, convenient. Oh, no. Eh? Oh. Ne. No. Tina. Well, got that. Oh. oh, there you go. I knew it wasn't just like. I think I need to. I should probably eat food because you get EXP doing that. All right, so that's not quite the end of the chapter, but I think we've already been going on for over an hour. So、uh, hopefully that was a good mix of exposition, sub story, battle. Like, I, it was kind of lame that, that that only lasted one fight that lasted one round, but <laughs> I guess that's what it is. Oh, avoid those guys. Yeah, sa savor it while you can. Like, easy battles. Yeah, I've heard that. Jeff gave him, like,、uh, a chokehold and threw him down, and it's like, okay, we're done. <laughs> Hey, I didn't even hit, didn't even hit the、uh, action command because apparently I'm bad at that.、Um, but yeah, I, like, I, unlike George, who is the opposite of doesn't tend to really have an affinity for turn based games, I tend to like, really like more, more, more tactical type turn based games, but even more, I don't know what you call this, traditional JRPG turn based. I really kind of think there's a lot you can do with the battle system. I don't think Yakuza 7's shown it quite yet. It's been very, very simple and streamlined so far. But obviously, I don't have. I'm in chapter 3 of what? 16? And I don't have a full、uh, party cast. Yeah, 15. Something like that. It does. So, like, it totally, it totally does do a lot more. I, I just I don't know if I would, even I would call it deep. Maybe I didn't get too far like, down into the nitty gritty of it either, but it all. It was pretty simple, but it's a, it's a lot of fun as well. No, it's, I love the flavor behind it. I like the,、uh, I don't know, the, just, I, I don't, how do I word this? I, I like 
Oops, I did not actually realize that that could happen. All right, we'll end it there, I suppose. Me getting hit by a car. That's, that uh, seems like the perfect ending. All right, video over. All right, we're done. Bye, everyone. We, we can't top that. No, actually, but all right, to, to more properly close this out, yeah, we have the review up on the site from Josh Torres. Uh, we talked about it on the podcast at the Tetracast. Uh, I will continue to play through this uh, as my, this is basically my November game, since I'm not interested in like, uh, what else is coming out of November? Hyrule Warriors few other things so yeah i've been enjoying it a lot i do think each of a really great and different type of protagonist to cure you hopefully i don't get too lost by not having played half of the games but if george is enjoying it and i was only played like two of them it's too worse to play as well i have there was already one point earlier in the game with the um the orphanage that had a callback to one of the earlier games so at least i picked up at least one reference from an earlier game event. Oops. For some reason, I like really like I felt bad like didn't want to be in the, the guy's way. But yep, yeah, it's Yakuza Seven. Yakuza like a dragon. Uh, tell us, you know, let us know what you think about the different direction for the series. Uh, we are finally, you know, able to cover it without any sort of like reservations about it not really being an RPG. I don't know if they'll stick with it. It'll be it'll be interesting to see if they really, uh, um, you know bolster this and like this was the well the it seems like it's doing really forward. it seems like it's doing really well over here in the west at least going by like steam numbers and it seems to be doing well on like ps4 and xbox and so yeah like, I, would love them to. I think i think on steam uh earlier on saturday it passed yakuza zero for most concurrent users so definitely a good sign obviously better than the alternative so it'll be interesting to see how the console numbers shake down with the Xbox now really pushing the marketing and then PS5 version coming, you know, later next year. So, yeah, uh, thanks for, you know, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back, I don't know, at an, at an undeterminate amount of time for another casual mode video. Uh, you can always visit us on the website at RPG site and listen to our podcast at RPG site.net Tetracast. Uh, join our Discord. What else am I missing? Uh, YouTube channel. You're already here. And until then, take care, stay safe, stay inside if you can, and you'll hear from us next time. Bye, guys. Better